Hey guys, Rem McCoy411. Welcome back to my channel. I have just finished taking the best shower in the world. And I just so happened to shampoo my hair and condition my hair with Hask Argan Oil from Morocco. Shampoo and conditioner. This has an oil already infused in it, so my hair is feeling moisturized. The conditioner just made my hair just be able to do just straight comb through for tangles. It detangled good. It did great. It did great. And when I tell you guys, I told you all I wasn't using this anymore for my shampoo. Brush. Old school, baby. I had to go back and get her. Where's she at? Here she go. This one right here gets in that get on that scalp honey and i promise you the best shampoo ever okay ever so let's get ready to do a wash and go <laughs> and go. The hair is shampooed, clean, feels great, not too stripped at all, feels moisturized. Look at the length, baby. I'm starting to get length. Look at my neck. I'm pulling my neck. I'm pulling my neck this way so you can see. Yeah, it's on the shoulder. It's on the shoulder. It's on the shoulder. All right. Anyway, so let's get started, guys. We're going to make this short, sweet, to the point. I already gave the plug out to Hask. And now we're going to give a plug out to Cream of Nature. And this is going to be their leave-in conditioner. I'm going to show you what I have. Now, this is the Argan Oil. Argan Oil on the shampoo. So, Argan Oil on the leave-in. Just I have them by Cream of Nature. This is their leave-in, so I don't like doing choo 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 choo. So I put mine in a little spray bottle here, and I shake it up because you know you gotta shake it to activate it. That's what it says. And then I just go to town, letting it get all in, get it all in the back. So much better. Works so much better. And then I just comb it all in. It smells so good. Something about that leave-in conditioner just makes it, you can, the smell of it just makes it smell like, you know what, it really is doing something. It really is doing something. So we're going to start off in the back. I got a chance to stay inside a little bit today. The weather's not so bad, so it's not too cold where I can't go outside with a wet head. If I choose not to use one of the, I actually got a diffuser by Conair, and I may try out that diffuser if I have to. Well, my hair is not soaking wet, but it is wet, okay? Take my demon brush here. Brush this down. And then we're going to be using one product for this wash and go out. Well, the leave-in and then... The Extreme Wet Line Gel, the one, I don't know if it's considered new or not because it does say wet line on the top of the thing, so I don't, but it's not, it's different. I can say it's different from the clear one, and I actually like it, so 
We're gonna grab us some gel, work it in our hands, and we're gonna rake it in. And I like the raking method. I detangle my hair and everything with tools, using tools, but when it comes to putting products on, OMG, look at that, oh, make sure I get them scruffy, them roots. But once it come to put my product on, I like to rake it in with my fingers. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, it's, it's what you see, you see? You see that, and you see this, you see that, and you see this, and now, guess what you're about to see? You're about to see this. I'm gonna work in some more. Oh, oh yeah. I'm gonna work in some more. And once again, smoothing and raking, smoothing and raking. This gel is, it's not all sticky, gooey. It's not heavy, it's very light. It's, it is different. That definition, baby. That definition right there. The curls don't lie. The curls don't lie. Oh, yeah. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Let's speed it up. damp hair which I redampen with some leave-in conditioner and then I just applied the gel and it looking like this it's looking like this okay like I don't even know how to put it I don't I, I don't I really don't know how to put it because the last time I did a wash and go my it didn't stretch 
like this. So like, I'm scared to even touch it on the real. I think I'm just gonna let it air dry and probably go around here. See, see some gel in my fingers, honey. I don't waste product. Mm -mm. Every bit of my product comes from hard earned money. I'm not sponsored in no shape, form, or fashion. So, if I see some product in my fingers, I'm going to get it. And it's like, literally, I'm, I'm pulling it to see if I need to coil any other ends and all that kind of stuff. But I really don't. So, I'm just going to see how this is going to dry. I mean, the body is there, everything. Everything. Earth thing, earth is there. So let's let it air dry and I will get back with you guys. And you guys, I want you guys to get a up close. And this is it. So, I'll be back. I will be back. And I'm trying not to put a part because I am so used to wearing parts in my hair. So, I'm really trying not to put a part in right now. So, I'm going to put down the comb. Put the comb down and I'm going to let it get bigger. And let it air dry. See you guys in a minute. Alright guys, we're back and here it is. The finished product. Still got some balance to it. I think I found myself a new wash and go gel. Do you hear me? Look at that. It still got movement to it. And it's dry. I hope this a thumbnail. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Keep God first in everything you do, and I do mean everything. I hope this is a thumbnail. Smooth to y'all. Don't forget to subscribe. Click on the notification bell so you can follow me on my natural hair journey. Year two. All right. Watch some of those older videos, and you'll see why I'm so happy to have this washing up.